Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where hopefully I have fixed the issues we were having. I did a quick test run and it seems like everything is working now. And not glitchy but who knows at this point. But we have... Oh good it got me that campfire that's nice thank you. Um. <laughs> We have the Wings of the Ten, which is the quest we've been kind of just having for ages. And I didn't really know what it was about. I don't think it even said anything. It was just like, oh, you have to unlock it at a certain point. But, so we have to end Regala's Rebellion, defeat the Zeniths, and rescue Beta and Gaia, which she has a plan that we don't know about. But first, we have to lay our friend to rest. So... And we gotta tell... I cannot fast travel at this time? Why? You aren't gonna make me run all the way back, are you? Uh, but we have to tell Zoe what happened, too. So that's cool. That's good. I'm looking forward to that. Not at all. It figures, right? That it had to be the one that was like a couple... And, like, they had, like, a plan going forward. Like, they, they had, like, a future picked out for themselves where nobody else really did, you know? Oh, dang. Oh, that must be the facility. Okay, I was like, what's that? Um, I might be too close to these guys to fast travel, but... I can't believe they did that. I can't believe he died. I don't, a part of me still honestly is like, oh, maybe you're why I can't fast travel. A part of me is still thinking maybe a rush of air maybe he can come back but I don't know I don't think so I think I think they decided to go for the easy heartstring tugging outcome why can't I they are not gonna make me run the whole way are they Oh my gosh! I didn't. <laughs> I was just trying to get around, and I knew this Tide Ripper was here, but I didn't realize it would be like right there. I thought it would be hidden, and then I would pop up. But look at that! Oh my gosh! E. This is probably why again I couldn't fast travel. It just it just popped into existence. Oh no! Nope, let's actually die. Let's die. I was hoping that was closer to shore, but I'm not. Gosh, I can hear it. No, no. I'm gonna die here. It's gonna be terrible. I mean, in any other situation, I wouldn't mind fighting you. Oh my gosh, please just get off. Uh, I wouldn't mind fighting it, but I have things to do. People to see and to bring bad news to. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I don't know. I don't know what it is exactly that makes me feel like deaths are some some things. Sometimes I feel like deaths are kind of cheap, you know, just easy heartstring tugging events. But there are some where I'm like. No, this is like super like this is this has meaning you know like a death has in the story anyway you hope right like real life you don't always get the option but you hope in the story at least that the death has meaning somehow you know and that like uh like it needs to like for me it needs to happen on screen if it doesn't happen on screen then i'm like well that just means that they could come back yeah i don't know you know like i'm trying to think there's certain ones where who was it in like a series? Hawk. I guess kind of spoilers for Dragon Age Inquisition if you don't already know. Um, but you have the option to leave Hawk behind in the fade. And for me, I think if you leave Hawk, and a lot of people are of this mindset as well, if you leave Hawk behind, <laughs> that um, he or she will come back. 
at some point because you don't see them die. Like you see them staying behind to fight the nightmare, but you don't see them die. Just to let you know, I'm now yeah, patched already into said your focus. This. But yeah. anyway, um, to me, that's like, I don't, and, if, and if it if it was a true death, can I not? I why not? They are not going to make me run all the way back. Great. I take it the other Zenas can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I've sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. <laughs> Maybe I needed to have this interaction again? Maybe now I can fast travel? Okay, that's what it was. I needed to trigger that conversation again. Apparently it didn't save last time. But yeah, anyway, I don't know. I guess <laughs> I'm just kind of stuck on... Like, I mean, I, you know, he died in front of me. But also, like, it's so... I guess part of what makes me a little frustrated with it is that, like, Aloy just fought, like, a slaughter spine and, like, all these other machines, like a Dreadhorn and stuff, and took, like, a thousand hits from them, including plasma hits. But one hit from that guy is enough to, like, knock her out. Like, I get it. They're supposed to be powerful. Whatever. They're the Zeniths. They have, like, super-duper technology. But, like, I don't know. One hit. It wasn't even, like, a fight. It was just one hit, and she was down. You know, and she couldn't do anything. And, oh, how convenient. Like, Varl's gonna die, you know? Like, like she can't help him, you know? And I don't know. It just feels like it was sort of like a cheap up the stakes kind of thing, in a way, for me personally. Um, so, yeah, that's that's kind of, I think, why I'm like... Uh, like, I'm sad, but I'm also a little bit like, well... <laughs> It's kind of like, I think I've mentioned it before, but how J.K. Rowling just kind of like rolled the dice on who died in like the last book, in the seventh book. And it was just like, I mean, it just kind of felt like, like there's like Thane's death in Mass Effect 3. That to me is a good death. Like that has meaning. There's like, like it has, it has a long time buildup too. Like for him, it doesn't always need that, but it has like a long time buildup, even though you think like, oh, I can cure him. Like in the end, you can't and you have to accept that, you know, but like. And Shepard did everything she could, you know, and like, it was just, I don't know. To me, that death was more meaningful than Varl, even though he did, you know, die in front of me. It just felt, felt a little tight, like not, not the worst cheap death I've ever seen, but like it felt a tiny bit cheap and I'm, I'm a little upset about it, but I guess that's kind of the point of death too, is you get upset about it, you know? I am not looking When you're wounded, to this. you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey. Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Kotalo's right. We must so fight. They already oh, know. All right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that. I'm kind of relieved they don't have to break the news. So. Oh. After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. She's tougher than me. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do She's now? She's tough. We're going to defeat the Zeniths and get Beta and Gaia back. 
But first, we're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me a gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. This would be super meaningful to <laughs> the the rest of you. Whatever preparations you need to make, <laughs> not. upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the zenith. Are we gonna? We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, yeah, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. I thought we were gonna... Before I do anything else, yeah. I should check on Zoe. That sounded important. Well, I... The thing is, I want to, uh... I do want to do my... Like, I need to do my resupply also. But I, I feel like emotionally I would go... Ooh, sweet. I would go first to... Whoa, new, oh, new trap recipe. Sweet. I would go check on Zoe first. That's how I think I would do it. I will come check on everybody else here soon. Because they everybody needs to, chop, to talk about it, to chat, you know? <coughs> but, man, I thought I was getting better. I think I am. Still just some lingering effects. Man, we had those side quests about what the over here, Aloy. What the Utaru do with their dead. But and Varl's mom, she's both her kids are gone now. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... Further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower gathered its seeds. <sighs> As verdant winds wither, roots rot in snow, Still the sea rises as certain as stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. I and so it is with knew us. it. She's pregnant. <laughs> well. I'm with child. Aloy. That's good. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, 
I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. And watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Farl. I promise to look after them. Oh, I knew it. I'll try to visit again when I can. But for now, I need to go to the fabrication terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Yeah, I thought um, it'd be like with Rost where we could sit and talk. But I'm glad he still can have a view of his home and the future he wanted. And I was kind of, at one point during the conversation, I was like, man, it would be nice if she, you know, if, if she was pregnant, then like it wouldn't just be like an end, right? Like, and you know, maybe it's kind of antiquated, but seeing a legacy through like your blood kin is just sort of ingrained and, you know, it would be interesting to see Varl, Varl's mother and, and Zoe meet. They seem like both very strong, they are both very strong-willed women with different ideas of how to do things and it would, Zoe would never back down for sure, but to be interesting. My other thing was like it was a it was a tie between the the, the tribes, right? It was like, and I'm sure this has happened <laughs> before, except not with Nora. Nora don't have outsiders, right? And so the Nora being with somebody from a different tribe was like a big sort of step. It seemed like, and now that step will continue with their child. So, blue. Okay. Well, time to go in. That was really good. I was curious because she's a, I think she was a death singer, right? So she has the rights. And I think for her, death is not, it's not an end. Like she was saying for the Utaru, there, it's a cycle, right? Like, I didn't even know this door was here, honestly. I turned, I turned my phone off and intriguing. It keeps beeping at me. Um, but yeah, for them, it seems like death is not it's just part of the cycle, right? Like I don't there's not like a like a reincarnation thing necessarily, but that like life gives way to new life. Death gives way to new life and so for her it's it's cyclical and I think that helps a lot in a in a mourning process. So Oh no. <laughs> I got enough trouble with Catalo, always kicking my ass. Who says I'm any good at it? The way my luck's going, I'll bet you're a pro. I thought you were gonna go fight some Tanakhs. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. I, mean, I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. Yeah, Varl's not here to be my emotional uh, cheerleader. <laughs> so, somebody else has to do it. Do you think so we'll be okay? 
I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That yeah, keeps the rest of us level-headed. You should know. Silens is involved with the Sons of Prometheus. He's the one who gave them the override tech to begin with. Why doesn't that surprise me? That's probably all part of some master plan, mm, huh? At least we know we're good at wrecking those. Damn straight. <laughs> I need to get going. Uh, you better get there before Catalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. Yeah, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. I'll do my best. Yeah. Think you can manage things here while I go help Hikaru? Stopping Regala's war. It'll help us take the fight to the Zeniths? Yes. Then I'll make sure the rest of us are ready upon your return. Okay. We'll be facing Spectre drones soon. Aaron and Catalo have fought them before, so... I already asked them to run us through some combat drills. Aaron moves like an oaf, but he's good with that hammer. They've added more stuff. There's, like, the kegs and stuff. It looks almost like a tavern back there. I know we both want to make the Zenas pay for what they've done, but once we infiltrate their base, our priority will be to get Gaia and Beta out of there. Don't worry. I won't go seeking revenge like some blood-crazed Tanakh. Wherever your arrow strikes, mine will follow. Well, let's hope we hit our targets. How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. These two weren't really the best of friends, but... Whatever you plan on doing against Regala, you better return to us in one piece. I'll try. I think Catalo's already gone. Aloy, do you have a moment? You look busy. My studies are a good distraction. Especially after Cauldron Gemini. Varl, Beta, Gaia. Gone. And that's just the beginning. The Zeniths want to rob us of our future, too. We won't let that happen. Oh, and I wanted to give you this. For helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what Is you Is it a sling? Because I would love that. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. So apparently I have a new override module. Like, again, another one. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the Ancestors. The Overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. That's a good analogy. I wish more Quen could see that, instead of looking the other way. Or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. <coughs> As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. I guess maybe this is a reminder to me, too, that, like, not all, potentially, not all the Zeniths are bad, you know? And, like, you look at it, and, like, people are complicated, right? Like, there's very, very rarely people who are truly evil or, like, truly good, you know? Like, saints and paragons, devils and demons, you know? But Ted Farrow was evil, like, but it was, like, a pitiful kind of evil, almost, if it wasn't for the fact that he 
you know, destroyed the entire planet <laughs> with his greed and manipulation and lack of foresight and belief in his own infallibility, you know? So, but people are people, most of them doing good and bad and just trying to do their best. Tilda, the Zenith that Beta mentioned, she was the one who rescued me. Did she say why? She knew Elizabeth Sobek. Seems to think helping me is honoring her in some way. She was willing to share information on both Silence's plans and the other Zeniths. But you still don't trust her. Where I come from, the more valuable the knowledge shared, the higher the price extracted. I'd be careful if I were you, Aloy. Nah. Now I'm now I'm worried again. <laughs> now I'm quite, it's I just I'm just gonna be in between. I think I'm gonna be fifty fifty on Tilda, or maybe she is doing good, but she does like she's doing what she thinks is right, which is another scary thing to take into account. Like she's doing what she thinks is right, but definitely has her own motivations somehow. Like I mentioned, maybe she wants to set herself up as like the one true goddess or whatever. You know, which she didn't really seem the sort for that, but we'll see. We'll see. So all of the tribes here are new to you. Yes, I've been studying up on them. The most fascinating one thus far has been the Tanakht, an entire culture based on the holograms of an ancient museum. There's much they've misinterpreted, not unlike the Quen. But still, there's a nobility to what they've become. They're honorable and fearless. And deadly. I like that. No, like, it, she summarized, she did it way better than I did. I'm always like, blah, 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 like, I used too many words, but she summarized it. Yeah, it's an ancient cult, it's a culture based on ancient, essentially, misinterpretation of some holograms from a museum. Which, again, like, you, get, you can get into the whole thing about how museums often, you know, try to do their best to portray events, like, what, what we know of truth, but, like, truth is a messy business like we saw in some of the some of the codex entries in in the museum itself where some people were like we don't want you to show this aspect of our ancestors or whatever or like you know because they had like they had like living descendants like like that were not that far removed and they're like we don't want to, you to show that they did this terrible thing you know that 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 puts them in a bad light and it's like well that's what happened you know like the point of a museum like the true point of a museum is to like or any institution like you know discussing or, or showcasing historical like narratives is to show as many sides as possible like yeah you can be a hero you can also do terrible things in a war you know like maybe you accidentally bombed a civilian you know outpost or something you know or or something like i don't know like you can do terrible things on purpose. I know a lot of tribes nowadays in North America don't like it when cannibalism is brought up. And that, but that right there, that's a specific instance where they don't like that being brought up because it can sort of continues this old harm. It seems to, to con, for them and for older archeologists and like historians and stuff it, who pri tried to propagate this idea of like the savage native, you know? Um, that they were like less than human, that they were barbaric beasts, you know, and they ate people, you know? And it's like every single culture, every single ethnic group has had an instance of cannibalism. Like guaranteed, 100%. Like Europe, there's European, Neanderthal, like there's, it goes way, way back in the, in the like archeological, like, well, not narrative, like narrative, yeah, but also like record, the record. You know, like cannibalism is something every group who's ever been under like extreme duress has gone through, you know. Um, and for some people, it wasn't even an extreme duress thing. For some cultures, it was like a sign of respect. Like I take your strength, like a defeated enemy's strength. You take their heart, their flesh, whatever, and you you Im like imbibe it, you know, you take it into yourself. And that's it, it is a sign of respect Um to take that strength of an enemy you conquered but valued essentially and take it into yourself you know or i think there's actually even like certain like death rituals where like the ashes of loved ones like will be like a tiny portion of their ashes will be disseminated to their existing loved ones who will eat like a tiny amount of their ashes to keep them with them you know what i mean like it's the idea of keeping that person with you you know what i mean and so so there's cannibalism is a fascinating subject in in all its you know 
mannerisms, but, like, yeah, so to me, it's, like, okay, yeah, we can talk about, like, cannibalism, like, there was, for, like, in, like, a particular drought period here in, like, the southwest, there was a high, there was higher instances of cannibalism, you know, and I can see why a lot of tribal people wouldn't want to, like, have that discussed, because they don't want that harmful, older narrative to be pushed of, like, oh, they're, like, they're, they're monsters, they're savages, but it's, like, that's not how it is, everybody did it, you know, at some point in time. Um, but it's complicated. It's a complicated situation, right? So I get it anyway. That was really long. I'm so sorry. I might edit most of that out, potentially. <laughs> anyway, let's finish this up. How are you holding up? Varl's loss is heavy on everyone's mind. I didn't know him well, but I can see how much he meant to the others. Zoe and Erin seem to have taken to it the hardest, but I don't quite know what to say to them. They need time. To sort through it. And what about you? Will time heal your wounds? I don't know. I try not to think about it. We just talked with Varl before this about not bottling up grief. She just managed to work through her grief <laughs> with Rost. Like, and realizing that talking about it and thinking about him did act was better than just like trying to shove it away and pretend it didn't matter, you know? Seems like everyone's ready to take the fight to the enemy. Patalo more than most. Nah. If I were this Regala, I wouldn't want to cross him on the battlefield. Regala still has a lot of machines on her side. That's where you come in, I suspect. If my plan works. Oh, my new override thing! My override, her override! I should get going. Be ready to go on my signal, okay? I won't let you down. I know. Utaru Protector. Hold on, let's see. Did she just give me an armor set? Oh my gosh. Potion proficiency. Proficiency. I have so many Utaru ones. Come on, show up. That's a Tanat. Utaru, Utaru Whisperer. I mean, they're all right. Like, that's fine and all. Low health regen is good, but I, I don't use potions, so, like, the potion proficiency isn't, like, a big deal for me. I also did get, I think, by completing the 10, or did we not, hang on, we might not, we haven't completed it yet, but I will get another face paint, the Tanakh Reaver. Craft the Sunwing override, that's what it, okay, so maybe it's not like a big, huge override, it's just the Sunwing override. Um, well, let me actually grab that really quick, hopefully this episode isn't too long. Am I going in the right room? Oh, and I should, is this, no, this is not my room, this is Zoe and Varl's room. Wait, why? Who is still wanting to say things to me? Hey, do you have a moment? Sure. Tilda's the one who rescued me. Uh -huh. Same one that spoke to Beta when none of the others would. Did she say why she saved you? She knew Elizabeth so uh -huh. She was willing. But you stip where I come from. The higher the price, I'd be careful. Okay. I should get going. Be careful. Okay. Um, I want to get this thing crafted, and I'm going to poke my own valuables and see if they say anything. Okay, so this makes me feel better. I was feeling really dumb that, like, I hadn't, um, done, like, a Sunwing override, but it is part of the main quest, so that's, that's good. It's kind of a bummer, because it's like you wish you had it before, you know? Override installed. Not a fun this would be somewhere. really fun to do. I think there are some roosting at the top there of the There are, actually. There are. Um, but first I need to find my room. Yep, Kotalo's already Did you gone. See Kotalo's in the uh ah. Because he could crush me like a grape with. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I will, Rost. Now, and always. Me. 
So Silent's plan was to trick Regala into sacrificing her tribe in a hopeless battle against the Zenus. It's so... heartless. Hikaru, Dekka, Catalo, countless others. I won't let their lives be thrown away. I want to think Silence is a more complicated person, but a part of me thinks he really, he's like a, like an actual, I think the word is sociopath, somebody who cannot like feel human emotion or something like that. Focus. It's Pearls. I used to think no Nora would ever accept one. Pearl did. Even when he was overwhelmed, he refused to let me push him away. All right, well, that was Varl's whole thing. He was a friend to the end. And on. Man, like, it's kind of nice to think I could be like the, like, like not Zoe, but Aloy could be like the wine aunt, <laughs> or not wine aunt necessarily, but like the aunt to like Varl's little kid. He would have been a good dad, though. I failed for all. A Gemini. I should have pushed harder. I should have done more. I'd give anything to have him back. Oh. The music, I think, is just the normal music for this place, but it seems really sad. Well, okay, I think that's it. Um, hopefully my rant on the complexities of historic, uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, historic, comp just the complications of, of truth, of history, you know? Of what is true, what isn't true, and all that. It's, anyway, I could go, I could keep going, but I'm not going to. This is what happens when you have an anthropology, philosophy, and <laughs> historic background. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapping tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much, my friend. I appreciate your support. And an extra, extra special shout out to my forest tier patron, Christopher, who has gone above and beyond and just been excessively kind and I very much appreciate it. Um, I really can't, I can't put into words how much I appreciate your support and, and everything. It's, it's, uh, it's very kind. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.